What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So with all the hype going on in regards to MW3, people are forgetting that MW2 itself got an update. We got some free rewards. There's a free operator bundle right now. DMZ also got a update as well. We got more information on that and how that's going to play out for Modern Warfare 3. And then we also have new patch notes and things like that playlist update as usual. So if you find the video informative or helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. I did upload a video earlier today covering the Modern Warfare 3 beta early down. Download. You can actually download it right now and I show you guys how to do that because you might manually need to start the download So if you do plan on playing the beta or want to play it make sure you check out that video It's very important. We did receive an update today that you need to download that is going to be turning MW2 into COD HQ I did discuss that in the last video But it's an update that everyone is required to download doesn't matter what platform you're on You're gonna need to do that It's gonna evolve and turn the MW2 app the Warzone app and MW3 app in the future Make it under the COD HQ app and that way you'll be able to access all these different Call of Duty titles and upcoming games from one central hub, which will make it easier overall in the future to switch from one game to the next. The file size for that will depend. I believe on Steam, it's like around three to four gigabytes. On Xbox, it's around 30 gigabytes. And then for PlayStation, it was around like two, I think, or one gigabyte, something like that. But other than that, here's some patch notes that we ended up receiving with today's update. We got some bug fixes. It says fixed an issue where the player can be kicked back to the main menu when attempting to access the manage file section in the settings menu. So for those of you guys who are trying to uninstall campaign and we're having that issue, you can actually do that right now. They also fix an issue where a significant hitch could occur when transitioning to some menus from COD HQ. Fix an issue where the battle pass after action report wouldn't play correctly if the player had auto redeem turned on. Fixed an issue where the ISO 9 mastery completionist charm displayed an incorrect charm. And fixed an issue where the players could be kicked back to the main menu when viewing Tracer Pack Witchcraft. They fixed an issue where the dual commas model is missing in the preview for Red Haunt Blueprint. Fixed an issue where lock camos could be added to weapons before they were earned. They also fixed an issue where the TR-76 Geist mastery completionist charm would be incorrectly shown for the FR Advancer instead. Then for the Warzone bug fixes, they fixed an issue where the mission thinning the herd could not be completed as intended due to the Coney group no longer spawning in Almazra and DMZ. Fixed an issue where some melee weapons could clip through operators' wrists when transitioning into a DMZ match. They fixed an issue where skin indicator tiles for several operators could display inconsistently. And then they did a match rules update where the redeploy flare has been removed from Warzone right? They said that it changes the integrity of the game and it doesn't make it feel as competitive. Players are able to just redeploy friends at the last second of the game. We also have a brand new playlist update for this week. For Warzone, we got Battle Royale ranked trios, Almazra in quads, Vondel duos, rotation in solo, Resurgence has Vondel quads, Rotation has solos, duels, and trios, Armored Royale in quads out Mazra, and Lockdown seems to be back with Vondel quads. For the multiplayer playlist, we have Koro Village, La Casa 24-7, we have Season 6 Objective Mosh Pit, we have Gunfight Blueprints, Shipment, Hardcore Shipment, and Shoot House are all back 24-7, which is a great opportunity for those of you guys trying to level up, trying to get that Orion camo, or trying to reach that max level to get that Milsim operator. Also got a store update that happened yesterday, but today they're doing the marketing for it. So we got a new trailer for the Alucard operator bundle. This is going to be the first crossover bundle that we have. It's going to be the Alucard or Helsing tracer pack. It's going to cost you 2,400 COD points. You have Alucard the operator himself with a brand new finishing move. This bundle does have tracer effects to it. It's also going to have three different weapon blueprints. You have one for the PD, SW and then two for the pistols and then there's the other things that come with the bundle such as the vehicle skins the calling cards loading screens and all that other stuff other than the store update we also got something interesting so with this brand new update that we got they're starting to tease and hint at cosmetics and items that are coming in for the haunting event so someone posted this he said found this in DMZ key specific for the hell train then he provided a photo you can see that it says it's a heat resistant key almazra key to the fiery catches of the nightmare train which is going to be one of the bosses that we're going to be getting during the haunting event it seems like in dmz to access that you will need a key and you can start collecting these keys right now in dmz someone else was able to find something called a butcher cleaver which is another thing for the boss butcher you may be able to trade these in for money you may be able to use these for some sort of challenges or something like that but as of right now you can already start collecting them i have a feeling that once the event actually starts in itself they might be a little bit harder to collect some of these items so if you do play dmz that's something that you can start collecting and looking for now with these minor updates we might start getting more and more items and things getting teased and leaked for the haunting event we also did receive a brand new 
PlayStation Operator Combat Pack. This is going to be Combat Pack number six. It's going to be the final Combat Pack that we are going to be receiving for Modern Warfare 2. They've already started teasing one coming in for MW3. For those of you guys who pre-ordered on PlayStation, you're going to get one. We haven't seen exactly what that looks like, so I'll be covering that for you guys once we have more photos on that one. But for now, this is going to be Combat Pack number six. You get the Operator skin called the Oni Omega. This comes with the Weapon Blueprint called the Fin, which is for an AR. Then you have the Weapon Blueprint Culmination. You also have a calling card called the Oni Mask. You're going to get an emblem, a charm, as well as a sticker. All that is currently available in the PlayStation Store. It's going to be available throughout the entirety of Season 6, probably up until the launch of MW3. So you can claim that anytime that you want. You don't need to claim it right now. For those of us who aren't on PlayStation, there are other free rewards that we can get. And there's four different items. There's the Death Upload Weapon Blueprint. You have the Bot Ops Charm. You have the Robotic Gamer Emblem, as well as the Curve Monitor Calling Card. These are available as viewership rewards for Call of Duty Next, which is going to be going live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you got to do is make sure your YouTube or Twitch account is connected to your Call of Duty account and watch these. They don't give us an exact amount of time, but you just watch these and you'll end up getting these as viewership rewards. Now, during COD Next in itself, they're probably going to announce a bunch of different rewards that you can get. Most likely the open beta rewards and other things that are going to be coming soon. So I will be covering that for you guys as we get that. But these are some free rewards that you can claim during the COD Next event. Now, let's jump into the next topic that we have. And this has to do with the DMZ community update that Call of Duty just posted. They said, although DMZ won't be showcased at next this week we're excited to share that we will continue the support for the dmz beta players will have continuing infiltration opportunities for almazra ashika island vondal as well as building 21 and cachet complex thank you for the continued support and dedication to the beta we will share further updates closer to season one they only use the mw2 hashtags and usually all their tweets have been hashtag mw3 so it indicates that maybe they're not going to be showing support in terms of brand new content from MW3. For example, when a brand new map comes in, usually we get it available in DMZ. They didn't mention if the Season 1 Warzone map was going to be available in DMZ. They just said we're going to give you more information once we get closer there. So it seems like DMZ will continue. But the question that it leaves us with is, are they going to continue adding content to it? Now, if they can keep the servers running. But the servers won't be all that fun if there's no brand new content being involved and added continuously. And as we've seen from the past couple seasons, the updates have been a little stale. They've been a little dry. They haven't really been adding as much content as they were in the beginning seasons that we ended up getting. So hopefully in season one of MW3, they do have a blog post where they dedicate some content and some information in regards to DMZ. But as of right now, it seems like DMZ is going to stay connected to MW2 and might not integrate along with Warzone into MW3. So that's something that we'll have to wait and see. And once we get more information on that, I'll keep you updated. So we'll know if we're going to get to play the new map in DMZ, if the new weapons are going to carry into DMZ, and if we're going to get like, say, new weapon cases, new bosses, new rewards, and things like that. But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys here in today's video. If you found the video informative or helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. I'll have more information for you guys in regards to MW2, Warzone, as well as Modern Warfare 3 and the beta. So definitely stay tuned for all that. But it's been your boy Chids, and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.